Within the past 48 hours, MIT have revealed one of the fastest charging batteries in human history that also happens to have double the energy density of any battery currently being manufactured. It's affordable to build, it doesn't need cobalt, and it just appears to be the best battery I've ever seen. Now, if you like the Volkswagen Group or you're invested in them, that's good for you because the Volkswagen Group own Lamborghini. Lamborghini has just licensed battery technology from MIT in the United States, which has the highest energy density of any battery ever, ever created commercially by human beings, ever, or by robots or by anything. These new batteries have approximately double, in fact, a bit more than double the energy density of the highest energy density batteries, which are currently commercially available. In fact, these batteries would potentially give a Land Rover electric vehicle 1,000 miles of range. And I mean, easily. You wouldn't even need an overly big battery pack. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is a bit of a surprise to me because Lamborghini have not really been into electric cars. Recently, there was a drag race on CarWow. You know, the only vehicle that didn't have some form of electrification was the Lamborghini. You know, Lamborghini don't have any electric vehicles at the moment. Um, they are not really taking electrification all that seriously. They do, though, have plans for an electric, like luxury, uber luxury. It's not really a supercar, kind of like a super sedan, super, super luxury vehicle. Not, though, a hypercar, which is really strange because have a look at rematches Navira. I mean, have a look at some of the new electric hypercars we've seen in China. They are unbelievably, incredibly good. Now, maybe Lamborghini has just been keeping this all a secret. Or maybe they finally did a deal where they decided, you know what? This battery technology, it's going to give us an advantage of Ferrari. It's going to give us advantage over everyone, and it will. Lamborghini has licensed MIT's cobalt-free organic battery technology for EVs, which, I mean, on face value, doesn't sound like much. But when you start to read the finer details, you start to realize... This battery technology is absolutely, and I mean absolutely groundbreaking. Within the molecules are chemical groups called quinones, which are the electron reservoirs and amines, which help the material to form strong hydrogen bonds, explained a study published in the Journal of ACS Central Science that talked about these new batteries and the incredible energy density that they have. So the energy density, what actually is it? It's 765 watts per kilogram. That's not fake news. That is real. 765 watts per kilogram. And apparently they can charge at up to 500 kilowatt charging speed. Now, if you really thought internal combustion engines had any life in the future, this has to make you think twice. This has to make you think, you know what? I was wrong. The internal combustion engine, it's finished. It's over. In an open access paper in the journal, ACS Central Science, they report that the optimized cathode stores 306 milliamp hours per gram, delivering an energy density of 765 watts per kilogram, higher than every single cobalt-based battery cathode that we have ever seen. It can discharge in as little as six minutes. <laughs> what that means is this battery pack has the capacity to power insanely powerful motors. I mean, you're talking you know, 3,000 plus horsepower motors, it would be capable of discharging so much power, it could run that kind of vehicle. What would that mean in terms of performance? You look in an electric car that can probably do 1.2, 1.3 seconds from zero to 62 miles an hour, it would make you physically sick. I personally know I could not handle that. I would, I would vomit pretty much immediately. I know there's a, a, a few people in the world that can handle that, but it's sort of like driving a Formula One car. It's very, very hard to do it makes you extremely nauseous unless you're, I don't know, just a really unusual human being. What's even more amazing about this battery is it doesn't use cobalt. It uses organic materials. So far, organic materials have not been able to match the conductivity, storage capacity, and lifetime of cobalt-containing batteries, unless they're lithium ion phosphate batteries. Because of their low conductivity, such organic materials need to be mixed with binders, such as polymers, which help maintain a conductive network. These binders, which make up at least 50% of the overall material, bring down the battery's storage capacity. That's the problem. And that's why this battery is so incredibly unique, because it doesn't use cobalt, 
and therefore its energy density should be lower, but actually it's double what we're seeing from some of the best battery packs in the world. About six years ago, the lab at the, the lab at MIT began working on a project funded by Lamborghini to develop an organic battery that could be used to power electric cars. While working on porous materials that were partly organic and partly inorganic, the lab realized that a fully organic material they had made appeared that it might be a strong conductor and actually work better than cobalt. This material consists of many layers of TAQ. Now, TAQ is short for a word that I can't pronounce. I'll put it on the screen. It's an organic small molecule that contains three fused hexagonal rings. These layers can extend outward in every direction, forming a structure similar to graphite. Within the molecules are chemical groups called quinones, which are the electron reservoirs, and amines, which help the material to form strong bonds. These hydrogen bonds make the material highly stable and very insoluble, therefore much less prone to fire. This battery just sounds like it's too good to be true, doesn't it? That insolubility is important because it prevents the material from dissolving into the battery electrolyte, as some organic battery materials can do, thereby extending its lifetime. So this battery pack apparently can actually last longer than existing batteries. Here's what one of the researchers said. One of the main methods of degradation for organic materials is that they simply dissolve into the battery electrolyte and cross over to the other side of the battery, essentially creating a short circuit. If you make the material completely insoluble, that process doesn't happen. So when we go over to 2000 charge cycles with minimal degradation, well, that basically means you have the holy grail of a battery pack right there. Tests of this material showed that its conductivity and storage capacity were comparable to that of traditional cobalt containing batteries. Also batteries with a TAQ cathode can be charged and discharged faster than existing batteries, which could speed up charging for any vehicle using this battery pack. It would mean potentially Lamborghini vehicles could charge at possibly 500, maybe even 600 kilowatt charging speeds, meaning the battery pack could charge in less than 10 minutes. To stabilize the organic material and increase its ability to adhere to the battery's current collector, which is made of copper and aluminium, the researchers added filler materials such as cellulose and rubber. These fillers make up less than one tenth of the overall cathode composite, so they don't significantly reduce the battery storage capacity. These fillers also extend the lifetime of the battery cathode by preventing it from cracking when lithium flows into the cathode as the battery charges. The primary materials needed to manufacture this type of cathode are a quinone precursor and an amine precursor, which are already commercially available and produced in large quantities as commodity chemicals, meaning they're pretty affordable. The researchers estimated that the material cost of assembling these organic batteries could be about one third to one half the cost of cobalt batteries. It sounds all just spectacular, right? Lamborghini has licensed this, the patent on this technology, so they basically own these batteries. The lab plans to continue developing alternative battery materials and is exploring possible replacement of lithium with sodium or magnesium, which are cheaper and more abundant and more abundant than lithium. So the lab's saying, you know what? We've got the battery made from Lamborghini, that's done. Now we're gonna work on making it a cheaper version using, using sodium or magnesium. Either way here, these batteries, if they are in fact what MIT is claiming, they're the best batteries in the world by a long shot. They have every single quality, incredibly fast charging. They last for a very, very long time. Uh, they have incredible ability to put out, to output their, their, they have an incredibly fast output so they can put out huge amounts of power enabling performance from hypercars that we've never ever seen before. And they have double the energy density of some of the, of the really, most of the best batteries in the world right now. We haven't seen them commercially manufactured. That's an issue. We don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm assuming it will happen, but I can't say for sure. What are your thoughts on this? Are, are your, is your mind as blown as mine is? I'm just think, looking at this thinking, wow, Lamborghini, how lucky were they that they just decided to bet on MIT to do this for them? And MIT clearly just nailed the brief. They went about it and they said, you know what? This is what we've got to do and they figured out how to do it and 
quite a remarkable story. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.